Hi folks. Well, here's the start of it uh of a two volt basically battery, lead acid battery charger. For so it's a single cell charger. And what I did, it's not perfected yet. It's going to work. But it's not perfected yet. Basically what it is is just a, an old microwave transformer that's here, let me just pull this stuff out of the way. That the secondary coil was removed, and the primary primary coil was uh, rose up, and then I wrapped some heavy gauge wire. I believe this is like number three gauge. I put a couple turns, but I need to double that up because I'm only getting half the voltage that I actually need for a two volt cell. I want to be able to produce just under the 3 volt range so 2.60 would be a good range at a high amperage and this is going to do it this is going to give me a tremendous high amperage but now as we know transformers take in AC power and release AC power so the typical wall plug will receive the power and push it to the primary coil and then the secondary coil which is the reducer in volts this is a secondary coil steals the power source basically from the primary coil as it's energized and it, the amount of volts you get is based on how many wraps you have here so this is a major major reduction in voltage from the 120 volts going into the main coil. The secondary coil is only producing, I'm only getting actually it's a one point, is it 1.24 if I remember right, which that's just not enough for a two volt cell. And we're talking about high amperage, high amp hour cell here. We're not talking about anything light duty, anything small time. This is pretty large scale. Um, some serious amperage coming out of this wire. I couldn't tell you how many amps, but we're talking some serious amperage. And then to convert this, to make it be able to, for a battery to be able to accept the power it's producing, which is uh, over 2 volts, need to be rectified over to DC. And that's what this outfit here is here. This is a massive, large in size, basically rectifier. So the AC power would go in and then it basically comes out DC power. Now this is just a start of a video because I'm kind of playing with it. Um, so there's a little bit of fine tuning that I need to do with it. because I'm only producing half the amount of volts that I need. But it's going to work. I'm very, very happy about that. But I need to double up the amount of wraps that's on the secondary coil here. And I don't have the room to do that with this size of wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size of wire, use half the size of wire, so I'm able to get twice the amount of wraps. And then it's going to work just fine. Now the uh, massive rectifier here is meant to handle some serious amperage. If you don't have a big, big rectifier, you're going to burn something out. Something's going to let go and just not work. So when you're converting such amperage over to uh, DC power, you really need to have a real large rectifier to do so. You can't use a little small one. You're just going to burn something out very quick. It will not work. So in order to do something like that, you have to have the right bits and pieces and parts. I guess you could call it bits, pieces, and parts, which would be the rectifier which you want to, what a rectifier does basically is it converts DC power over to AC power and that's what this unit here is. And this is the converting. And this is the AC transformer which is going to go through the rectifier which from the rectifier is going to go to the battery charger. Battery, sorry not the charger. And then I physically am going to have to monitor the battery voltage and continuously check on it because it's not going to be anything automatic here. This is a complete experiment and it's for my own personal use that I want to be able to have a charger with a high amperage just for one battery. 
That's right, one cell. As of your typical batteries, 6 volt batteries and 12 volt batteries have 6 cells in them or 3 cells for a 6 volt. Well, in this case here, it's for one individual cell. So, there's a little video what I've been playing with and I'm going to fine tune it and it's going to work. It's going to actually work. I'm not going to get too technical with meters and gauges and all the rest of it. I just want to be able to play around with a 2 volt cell and just in case I need a charger of such for one cell then I'm going to have it and this is the beginning process of it so thank you for watching and subscribe if you have not and for those of you have thank you